We spend our lives asking what to do or how to do it, but almost never when to do it. Yet timing is as just important as strategy or effort. In his book, When, The Scientific Secrets of Perfect Timing, Daniel H. Pink argues that timing isn't an art, it's a science. And if we learn to work with our natural rhythms instead of against them, we can transform how we work, decide and live. Here are the key lessons from the book. Lesson number one, harness the power of fresh starts. Pink calls this the fresh start effect. We are more likely to begin positive changes after meaningful dates, the first day of the month, birthdays, New Year's, even Mondays. These moments psychologically separate us from our past lives and give us a clean slate. If you have struggled to start a new habit, use a fresh start to your advantage. The big message of when is success isn't just about effort or talent, it's also about timing. By aligning your work, decisions and habits with the natural patterns of your body and the psychology of time, you can get more done, make better choices and feel less stressed. Lesson number two, our days follow a hidden rhythm. Most of us move through a daily rhythm of peak, throw and recovery. In the morning, our energy and focus are highest, perfect for deep and analytical work. Around midday, we hit the throw, energy drops, mistakes increase and decision making suffers. By late afternoon, we rise again into recovery. Knowing this rhythm helps you schedule the right task at the right time. Deep work in the morning, shallow task in the throw and brainstorming in the afternoon. This rhythm also explains why the timing of decision matters. Studies show doctors are more likely to prescribe unnecessary antibiotics in the afternoon than in the morning. Judges give harsher sentences before lunch. Why? Because decision fatigue builds up as the day goes on. The solution, make your most important decision early in the day when your mental energy is fresh. Lesson number three, breaks are not for luxury, they are a necessity. We tend to think powering through is a sign of strength, but Pink shows us that breaks actually boost performance. Even short, regular breaks, especially those with movement, sunlight, restore energy and sharpen focus. Lesson number four, midpoints can either stall us or push us. Pink explains something called the midpoint slump. Whether it's a project, a semester or even life itself, the middle often feels dull and discouraging. But midpoints can also be a wake-up call. Teams often accelerate after realizing they're halfway through their time. The trick is to use midpoints as motivation to say, we are halfway there, let's push harder. 